Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing, as you can tell, a collective winter, I would say fall slash winter haul, but like I live in Canada and it's been winter for a minute already, but yeah, <laughs> most of these pieces would be fall slash winter. So a collective fall slash winter haul, I, as you may have figured out, got a new job and I've been, you know, living my best life, but I needed a lot of clothes to actually wear to work because the last place I worked before that was a sporting goods store and then like the last year I've basically just been going to school in like sweatpants. So my wardrobe has just been like nada for a while now, probably like the past like three years honestly. I've just like really just skated by with like not much. So now that I have a nice job, if you haven't figured it already, as a lot of you guys have already guessed, I did get a job at Aritzia, which is going to be very prominent in this video because I did pick up a lot of pieces from there since I do now have, um, you know, my staff discount. That does help a lot and a lot with this wardrobe rebuild. But anyways, um... Let's just go ahead and get started. I have lots to show you. I did a little bit of a buying spree the week that I got the job. Like before I started, I needed some pieces to like actually just wear there. And then since I've been working there for probably like close to a month now, I have been collecting some pieces from there as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'll start with the Aritzia pieces because I feel like that's probably what a lot of you guys are most excited about. Oh, I guess I could start off with this sweater that I'm wearing here. I am so obsessed with it. It is, what is the material exactly? It's a mohair sweater. So it's like, I don't know how to explain it exactly. It's kind of I wouldn't say it's itchy, but it has like a little bit of a, of a texture to it. I wore it like all day, an eight hour day at work, and I didn't find it itchy at all. But it is a different texture, and I think you have to be a lot more careful when washing it. I don't think I'll be washing it. I think I'll probably be... It recommends to hand wash it, so like I'll probably be doing that because this was not a cheap item, but I've always wanted, you know, a nice collection of sweaters, so I'm starting to slowly build that and this was one of my first additions and I honestly truly love it. I hope you can tell the color accurately on camera. It's kind of like, what would I compare it to? Like kind of like a starburst pink. I don't know, it's just really bright and fun. I really really love it, especially in the winter. It's such a nice pop of color. I believe it is sold out online but I just picked it up from the store about a week ago. I think a week ago today actually and I know we still have some in the store or at least we did last time I was there yesterday but I also did find another one that I was kind of choosing between the two that's very similar and I linked that in the description box down below along with everything else that I'll be showing you guys. So yeah, this is my first piece. Absolutely love it. Next item would be this guy here. This is the oversized crew. This is in kind of like a stony gray color. I really like these tones that Aritzia's been doing lately. They kind of remind me of like the Yeezy kind of tones, like they're very like muted and neutral. I have like greens and purples kind of in this muted tone as well that are just so lovely. So I got this gray one. I really like the oversized fit. The bottom is nice and wide. It doesn't like hug at your hips and the sleeves are nice and just loose and baggy. The oversized line comes in sizes one, two, three, and I get a size two in case you're wondering. So that's that guy there. I absolutely love this. I wear this around the house a lot, which is sweatpants, but if you dress it up with like some gold jewelry, it's actually like really cute and you can like wear it out with some jeans as well. So that's a really good piece. I want some more of those. And then in my hunt to kind of come up with some outfits that I could wear to work that'd be a little bit more dressy, I decided to pick up this skirt. I have a really hard time finding bottoms because I do have, you know, wider hips, I'm shorter, I have a big butt. It just seems to be an issue for me. So I thought that a skirt would be a safe bet. Aritzia carries so many beautiful pants, but I just feel like I need to like get my butt in the gym because I don't think my thighs are fitting into any of those leather pants that I want yet, so we'll see about that. But this skirt is so gorgeous. 
I absolutely love it. Maybe I would even wear it with this sweater, honestly. Could be a vibe. We'll try. But I just love this. It's really, really long, and I'm very short. So I'm 5'1", just for reference, and this comes, like, probably, like, a few inches from my ankles. Like, it's very, like, very long. I don't know. It's just a gorgeous piece. They have these skirts in, like, so many colors, and I think they're so beautiful. I love this print. It's kind of very, like, holiday-esque with, like, jewel tones, and I'm just so obsessed with it. So a really good purchase, I think. Next from Aritzia is this guy. It is a Wilfred. It's a boyfriend fit, and it's this silky material. It's so gorgeous. I wore it to Jaden's Christmas party for work the other night, and I just love it so much. It's kind of wrinkly because I tucked it into my jeans, and I just think it's so gorgeous. It comes in navy, too, and, like, would not be mad if I got that one as well. It's just so beautiful. And one thing I will say, too, obviously I was able to buy more stuff than I would normally be able to because of my discount. I also spent probably more money than I should have just because I really wanted some options to, like, feel nice at work. But Aritzia stuff can be a little bit pricey, but I have noticed it. I've been purchasing Aritzia for as long as I can remember, like, years on years. And it's always the pieces that last the longest in my closet. Their quality is just, like, unmatchable. So I'm just, like, not that upset even paying the extra dollar for it when I can. So, yeah, just something to keep in mind. Then the next item is also another silky piece. I'm sorry, this one's a little bit wrinkly. I got this black camisole. And I just love it. This one comes in a few different colors, too, but I'm eyeing up the pink one. I could use it in, like, literally every color. It's just such a beautiful basic to have. I wear these a lot with my, like, black kind of gray wash denim. And I just love this piece. It's just so simple, but such a nice dressed up staple. Then the next piece is this alpaca cardigan. I love this cardigan so much. I love that there's no buttons on it. The sleeves are a little bit long for me. I did have to roll them up and I wouldn't mind maybe eventually getting them altered to shorten the sleeves or something. I don't know. This material kind of worries me to do any alterations to it, but it does have long sleeves, but I am, like, very short and have short arms, so, I mean, it's probably not too long for most people, but I really, really love this piece. I think it's something that will be in my wardrobe for a really, really long time. Next two items I purchased from Aritzia were actually two different coats. So, first item was this teddy coat. I don't even know if you can really see what it is on camera. I will try it on for you guys so you can get a better idea. It has two buttons and I just really really love it because I feel like it can be dressed up or dressed down and it's so cozy. I don't know if they have the black one online anymore but I know they have it in a few other colors so I'll have it linked for you guys if you're interested and there's also a really long version that they do still carry in the black. This one comes probably just mid thigh just past my butt and then there's another one that goes like down to your calf which is really really nice too. I would have got either but I just really really love this piece. And then the last item I picked up is the infamous super puff that I have wanted for a long time. I remember when they came out last year I tried to get one and they literally sold out like instantly. I could not get my hands on one. So this year I, I kind of acted a little bit quickly and picked up this guy that I knew I wanted. So this is the long super puff. It is very long. Like I said, I'm 5'1", and this comes like... There's probably like a two inch gap between my coat and my boots. Like it's very long, but I love it so much. It literally feels like a feather down duvet, because it pretty much is. It's so, so comfortable. It's so warm without like getting you sweaty. I wore it out the other day because I had to go out and take photos for my photography class and I was running around downtown in the freezing cold and I had this on all bundled up, my boots, my gloves, and literally the only part of my body that got cold was like the two inches between my boots and my coat. Other than that, I was like so comfortable. I wasn't overheating. I wasn't cold at all. Like it's just so perfect and I know the price tag on these can be a little bit alarming but honestly if you live in Canada like I do or somewhere very cold like I don't even know I don't even want to feel cold on my body in the winter like it is so upsetting to me so to me this is 
so 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 worth it I know every winter I try to make like kind of one purchase that is like really gonna help me get through the cold without wanting to rip my hair out so last year I bought the short Uggs and I swear by them my toes have never been cold ever since <laughs> ever since I got those and then this year I got the super puff I'm just really really you know perfecting this Canadian lifestyle because I don't know about you but I just literally if cold touches me like I'm gonna stay in my bed for like the next six months like call me when it's summer like it's not happening for me so yeah absolutely love this piece last few things from Aritzia are actually some accessories I guess we would call them so I picked up two pairs of mitts actually oh okay the other pair might be in my car but I picked up <laughs> this pair of mitts here they're gray heathered mitt just like such a good basic I've been lacking just some like really cute mitts I steal my mom's like every winter and then she like yells at me about it so I picked up a couple pairs the second pair I picked up is this pink color but they're in my bag or in the car somewhere so sorry about that but they're matching this toque that I also picked up which is like this baby pink color it's so cute so I got the toques and then the mitts are the exact same style as these guys and then last thing's kind of funny but I am so obsessed with these socks they are these TNA crew socks and they just have like the tiniest little tube sock on the end here so they're perfect for wearing with like a dad sneaker or any type of shoe where you want to have like that little bit of sock showing through but they're not too tall I love them I wear them all the time so I picked up a few more pairs and I just could not recommend them enough. So that is everything so far that I've picked up from Aritzia. I'm sure there will be lots more in the future because I'm loving my job there so far. So if you guys want me to continue showing you what I pick up throughout, you know, the future of me working there, let me know. I'm sure we will be doing some more hauls. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the few things that I picked up from Zara. So first things first, let's start off with the accessories. I ordered two headbands. You might have seen this one in my last video. Or one of my last videos but this is the first one this is the ruched headband and they're just like so cute like it's an extra you know little step to your look I feel like this headband with this skirt is just like really a vibe and then I was so in love when I got this one so I ended up ordering this one for the holiday season it's so cute I don't really know I probably didn't need a second one but it's like this gold kind of foily pattern. I don't know, I just think they're really cute. I'm really into the he the padded headband trend. I honestly didn't think that would be a trend that I would ever be rooting for, but I'm really here for it. Then, next item, I just picked up this gold belt. Do pretty basic western belt, but I just love this gold. Needed a new belt in my life, and I love these western belt styles. And then, as for clothes from Zara, I got this kind of gray washed tee I don't know I just really really like it it's really basic I feel like Zara's t-shirts are like a real hit or miss and this is a real hit for me I love this style love the fit love the wash everything about it super good then the last items I picked up from Zara was actually this little cropped sweater this was literally $20 it's such a good fit. It's cropped, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily cropped. It just comes like kind of right above my jeans. So it's like really comfortable. I really don't like crew necks that are too long. I feel like it's awkward since I have a wider hip. So they just don't sit well on me, if that makes sense. So I really, really love the cut of this one. It's really inexpensive. It's soft. This color is kind of like a buttery white. It's like a little bit more yellow or ivory. And then I just got a black one as well. Super nice staples, super inexpensive, and a good fit, so you can't go wrong there. And then I ordered two things from Urban Outfitters. So first thing was this Van Halen tour t-shirt, where you, which you've probably seen like literally everyone and their mother on Instagram wear. I feel like I see it all over the damn place, but I just love it. It's really oversized. It's a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. There's like all these distressed holes in it. And I'm just really living for these colors. The t-shirt itself is like that same kind of buttery white creamy color. And then just the colors of the print are just so 
nice and summery even though it's winter but we love to dream and then the back as well just that same color van halen tour style i'm just obsessed with it 10 out of 10 and then last tee from urban is just kind of like a basic white tee i feel like i'm been in search for like my new favorite basic white tee for a while now i don't know if this is the one yet but i wanted to give it a shot it is the Project Social Tea from Urban Outfitters. Again, kind of that buttery white. I've just been into that for some reason lately. But yeah, I think we're still in the search. Nice tea, but just doesn't hit all the markers for me yet. And last piece of clothing on the rack is this Nasty Gal cardigan. This is a chenille cardigan. I love the chenille. It's just so, so soft. And it's like velvety looking. I love it so much. The only thing about this sweater is that since it is chenille and the material is so buttery smooth along with this knitted style, the thread seems to pull. So you can see kind of in the sleeves maybe there's just like some pulls in the sweater, which is really sad. You can try to like kind of straighten them out and tuck them in. I've only worn this a few times and I just feel like it's really prone to snagging on things, but it's so beautiful, so soft. And I might just have to wear it around the house from now on or figure something out. I just love it so much though. And then I picked up two other things from Nasty Gal. One being these chunky boots. They have the thickest sole you'll ever see. These are kind of my Prada knockoffs. If you guys follow a lot of Instagram bloggers and stuff on Instagram, you've probably seen the chunky Prada boots going around everywhere and I'm so obsessed with them and if I was an insty baddie myself I would have purchased them like that they're so flawless so this was my you know knockoff version I think they're pretty good they're not as comfortable as I'd like them to be it's more because of the top of the shoe I feel like I don't know they're just like a little bit thin if that makes sense on the top so I'm not sure they're definitely not Prados but I feel like they'll get get the look done for you if, you if you're looking for that vibe you know what I mean and then the last item I got it's kind of a controversial one in this household okay not really but Jane was like why the hell did you buy that and like he might have been right but like I still feel like it's kind of a vibe so it is this a little fur purse which is kind of ridiculous I know I just like I don't know I just kind of felt like it was like a moment and I don't know, I feel like when I'm online shopping, I forget like who I am and what I do. Like I have this like fantasy persona of like, you know, what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be wearing. And I just like was imagining like a different lifestyle where like I'd be out on the town with my fur bag wearing like this leather look. And like, I don't know when that's going to be happening, probably never, but like... If the time comes, like, I'll have the bag for it. You know, that's kind of, like, my outlook and, like, a lot of my purchases sometimes. So, yeah. That's that. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, ugh, this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know if I wanted to include this, but I feel like you, we're here together. If you've watched this far in the video, you deserve to know this. So, let me grab it here. Okay, so this is really ridiculous. I'm very aware, but when I got my job at Aritzia, I was really, really excited about it. I had wanted it for a really, really long time, and I wasn't sure if I was going to get the job, blah, blah, blah. I was really excited about it, and I wanted to get myself kind of a little celebratory gift, if you will, on, um, you know, a smaller budget as far as, like, wow, I wish I could buy a designer handbag, but, like, you thought. Um, so I decided to opt for, still expensive, but not like designer handbag expensive, um, I bought myself this Chanel mirror. And you might be wondering, what the heck? And actually, what really happened was I was trying to put together kind of like a work bag because just like my school bag, I have like a little collection of things like a mini hairbrush, some Advil lip chap, you know, like those things that I like to have with me when I'm out on the town, when I'm at school and I'm, you know, just need my things. So I was making a list of things that I would like to have at work. And one thing I put was like a little mini mirror, you know, in case, you know, I need to fix myself, which I don't really, 
looking back on that now, definitely don't need because there's just a mirror in the bathroom. But anyways, I looked online. I was like, okay, mini mirror. looked on Amazon. There was literally not a single mini mirror that was not so ugly. So then I looked on Sephora. I found one that was like a Disney one that I just like wasn't vibing with at all. And it turned out to be really hard to find just a little handheld mirror, a little compact mirror. So I was like, okay, what the heck? This is a journey. Now I'm just like on a mission to find a compact mirror. Maybe I'll actually, I'll probably end up keeping this in my purse, really. That's like really where you'd want a mirror. Um, but nonetheless, I googled compact mirrors. And the first one that came up was this Chanel mirror. And I was like, oh my gosh, duh, that's perfect. So it's just, you know, just opens up. Hello. One, the top one is a little bit magnifying. And the bottom one is normal. It closes up and it's just a little Chanel mirror. Nothing crazy, but you know, she's a little expensive. And of course, as Chanel does, she says, I think it was over $75 you got free shipping or something. And I was like, okay, I know exactly what I want to get. Another ridiculous thing to buy for this price tag. But I got this guy which you might be alarmed to find out is a Chanel lip chap. Kind of ridiculous. I know, but is it glamorous? Does it make me feel like I work for Vogue in downtown New York? Yes, it does. It makes me feel wonderful. And I think these are going to be items that I'm going to have for a long time, especially the mirror. Obviously, I will use the lip chap. And I have been using it a lot, and I do really like it. Is it crazy, you know, revolutionary, changing my lips, giving me lip injections for the price that it is? No. Is it a good lip chap? Yes. So, yeah, we don't need to talk about that much further. You don't have to judge me. It's fine. It's celebratory. These are such beautiful items to have in one's bag. If you're looking for a good Christmas gift for a bougie gal, definitely recommend. I feel like there's some people out there that would definitely really appreciate this. And I don't know just makes me excited okay so <laughs> yeah that about wraps up everything for this haul I hope you guys enjoyed watching like I said this was collective and I don't normally buy this amount of clothes now with the job that I have I might be buying a little bit more clothes just you know because it's been years it's been years okay my closet needs like needs some goodies it doesn't really, but I do, you know? I'm just living my best life, okay? In my pink sweater that I love. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't judge me for my purchases. Pray for me. I think I've spent more money than I have made. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I should go. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Subscribe if you're not already. Bye. To delete the message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?